everyone. So it's been a while since I've done anything with my hair on video. So it's just been London Fashion Week. I missed everything. I haven't even had a chance to look at any photos yet because I've been really, really busy. I would have really loved to have gone to some shows. It would have been great. Um, I missed them all because I was really busy and I didn't get an invite because I'm rubbish. My girlfriend got an invite to Burberry. She couldn't go because we were in Dubai. But it reminded me that I owe you this video. I did a blog post maybe a month ago, maybe a bit longer, um, where I included a picture, I can't show you the picture on the video, obviously for copyright reasons, but I will put a link to my blog post there. But basically, it's, it's images of two guys who are on the catwalk. Um, the Burberry hair is always spot on, it's always really, really cool. That was February show, I think, so that would have been for autumn winter, which we're now in, or we're now coming into. Um, so it actually is really apt anyway. Now, for me, Burberry's awesome. It's like the quintessential British sort of brand. They are really, really spot on. Now, they're out of my price range, so I can't afford anything, but I often go on their site um, to look for inspiration for hair and, and for clothes. Although I can't afford their clothes, um, I often look at their website and go, oh, that's quite cool, and then I'll steal the idea and buy a cheaper version. So basically, the images from that blog post, they're very similar. One is very dry and matte, um, and the other one is sort of greasy and shiny. They're both sort of fringes that are all brought forward like this and they're both really textured. So that's what I'm going to do. You get sort of two hairstyles in one go. Basically, I use one product for the first style and then I just put something else over the top for the second style. Really, really easy. This style, honestly, it's really cool. It's really, really on trend and it couldn't be any easier. It's just sort of that scruffy look, really. Um, so easy to do and I'm about to show you. So I've just washed and conditioned my hair. Um, it does look dry, but if you feel inside my matted bush, that sounds rude, doesn't it? But if you feel in there, it's soaking. So I'm going to dry it. Now I say this every time I do a hair video. When you dry your hair, make sure you dry it in the direction that your hair is going to go. So if we're having a fringe, we're drying it downwards. Now, I know I say it all the time, but for people who don't listen, and for people who have never watched me before, thank you very much by the way, if you have stubborn hair like me, and you dry it sort of all messy like this, and then it comes to styling it, it's going to be a nightmare. So make sure you dry it in the right way. Now, just before I put the first product in, I just want to say to you, this is obviously an inspired look. It's never going to look exactly the same for a couple of reasons. One, I'm not a Burberry model. I wish I was, but unfortunately I'm hideous to look at. My hair's a completely different texture to theirs, and also, you know, it's a different length. My, mine's really long at the front. So, just bear that in mind. It's a inspired look. It's never going to be exactly the same. But it will still look really cool, unless you've got no hair, in which case it'll look like nothing. Okay, so the first and only product for the matte, sort of drier style is this. It's by Red Ken and it's called Rough Paste. I love this. I've been using it a lot recently and getting a lot of compliments. Now, a lot of the time with fringes, people must just sort of get it on their hands and go, oof, like that. Because I see people all the time who have gone for sort of a cool fringe, but what's happened is they've just got product on their hands and just gone like this and put it on into the style. And it looks just sort of like a helmet, like a Lego man hair that someone's just sort of gone that on. Equally, off the subject now, but I'm on a rant, when people um, get loads and loads of products on their hands like that and they go for a messy look and they just do this with it. Now the way you use a product is equally as important as the product you actually use. Um, you know, just because you're going for texture doesn't mean you just do this because it's not going to work like that and you're going to have lumps just somewhere. Now you don't really need a whole squirt of this, I don't think. I use about three quarters of a squirt. Um, just like that. Okay. And that's what it looks like. Now this is really good for me, I think, because although it's matte and texturising, it's not really thick and it doesn't make your hair like this, and you can see it's sort of like a loose paste, it's really easy to move around. Matte products in general are sort of thing, come in a tub and you have to sort of scoop them out. And they're great, they're really cool, and they're sort of thickening and they you know, make your hair chunky and stuff. For this style, that's not what we need. So, look a bit of this, get it on. Now, this is what I was talking about. At this point, when it's all over your hands and you've got an even coating, don't just go <laughs> like that because you're going to look a mess. What you need to do is get the texture in there. So lift with one hand, apply with the fingers in the other, Mix it around again, get on your fingertips again, and just sort of mix it in like this. That way you get the texture right in the roots, and it's not just sort of on top of the hair, or just on the surface doing nothing for you, apart from weighing your hair down. That's why a lot of people tend to have to reapply, and they go, oh god, I've got it in my hair, I have to use so much because I need to reapply all the time. It's because you're not putting it in right in the first place. If you sort of get it in the roots in the first place, it should last until you wash it out, really. So that's all we need. As you can see now, my hair's got plenty of textures right in the roots. Um, it does look a bit of a mess. So really, really simply, we're going to style it. Now, like I say, this is awesome, this style, because if you're lazy like me, you literally put it on and then you just rake it all forward. Get your fingertips in like this and sort of move them around. Rake the whole thing forward like that. Okay, so there you go. That's the first style done. Easy as that. You literally get it in your hair, you know, make sure it's in the roots, and then rake it all forward. It couldn't be any simpler. It doesn't take much product, and you can literally do this in a minute. So if you're in a rush, it's perfect. Now, the other look is... It's the same, the same sort of techniques used, uh, but it's sort of a really greasy style. Now, 
I'm going to recreate it for you, but I'm not going for grease, I'm going for shine. Because although it looks really, really cool on the catwalk, if you have sort of a greasy, oily sort of fringe in reality, it just looks like you're lazy and you can't bother to wash your hair and you're dirty. Um, so, what I'm going for is shine instead. Now, you've seen this product a few times. It's by American Crew and it's called their pomade. This is one of my favourite products, as you can see it's almost empty, um, because it's so versatile. I use it a lot to finish stars off, a lot when I cocktail products together to give, to give my hair a bit of shine. Because my hair's sort of a browny, grey, nondescript colour, I like to give it a bit of shine to give it a bit of life. Also, uh, because it's water-based, it's not going to be really heavy, because we've already got products on our hair. If you're going to use something else to give it shine on top and it's really heavy, it's going to be a nightmare to wash your hair and it's not going to be nice as hutch all day. So just a little bit like that. Smear it around. Now again, we're not going to put it in the roots this time because our hair's already sort of sorted out. We just want a bit of shine. So fingertips, same technique, just rake it through like this and get it all over. And you get on your fingertips again. So there you go. Um, just added some shine. Now I could have put a bit more on and gone even shinier. Um, by all means, feel free to do it. Just remember there is a point where sort of healthy shine becomes a bit too much and you look like you're just dirty and can't bother to wash. But that's it. Really, really simple. Thank you all very, 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 very much for watching. Appreciate your time. Um, you're all lovely people and I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.